daybreak in northern Spain. The medieval town of Alfaro is anything but sleepy. European white storks are natural tree dwellers, but with a shortage of big old trees, they resorted to boulders. And with the overcrowding of these, they were forced to think again. Now, some 140 stork families reside on Alfaro's cathedral alone. But they're not here just for the real estate. On their doorstep, there's an endless supply of food. Europe produces over two billion tons of household waste per year. Plenty of opportunity for scavengers. Griffin vultures are only too keen to join the feast. Rubbish dumps offer more than just food. For urban red foxes, they also provide valuable den sites. Estimates suggest some 10,000 red foxes may live in London alone. These highly adaptable scavengers are now establishing themselves in cities right across the continent. And they're not the only ones. Budapest. Spanning the river Danube, Hungary's capital is a city flanked by woodland. Making jogging something of an adventure sport. season, wild boar can give you a good run for your money. The woodlands around Budapest, Berlin and Vienna are full of them. The increased protection of wild boar in central, eastern and southern Europe has allowed numbers to soar. Many of these normally secretive forest dwellers have now lost their fear of man. They're overrunning villages, city suburbs and farmland. <laughs> <laughs> 